Today I thought I'd do something a bit different. So this is my worst track, TikTok Clock. I'm gonna try doing a time trial on this. All right, so today the goal is to learn how to play TikTok Clock. Right now, I have no clue how to play this track. <laughs> it is my worst track by a lot. And like, not so bad that like, I will actually just lose online all the time, but like, I will mess up, I'll forget things, and I just generally don't get very good results on this track. So I am gonna try my best here. Couldn't get a trick. Oh, get that one. Get that one. All right, there we go, there we go. There's pretty sure there's a shortcut right here. Oh, how does this work? Break drift. Oh, I got the trick. Okay, okay, this is not going too bad. This is not going too bad. So uh, what I wanna do here is just record what I think a good race of TikTok clock looks like for me so that I can then go watch the world record video and see all the things that I'm doing wrong. Because, like, okay, I'm probably not doing that many things poorly, but it's just, I don't know any of the tricks on this track. Okay, I'm gonna hit the wall if I don't do this. So, and then we're gonna aim for these little trick things. I'm so bad at aiming for these. I'm all the way over here. I missed the trick. Okay. <laughs> and can we take this clock shortcut? I don't know. Maybe not. I'm just gonna go around. Oof. Okay, we're gonna do this. This is going really bad. I'm really bad at that section right there. Almost missed a trick. Oh, you can take this clock, clock shortcut down the middle. I forgot about that. All right, so that's something I'll have to look into. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to hit the edge of the clock and go shooting away. Okay, and this is a terrible line. You see the problem here? I, I clearly don't know how to play this track. All right, and I forgot to go down on the gears. Wow, wow. Oh my. I am so embarrassed right now. This is so embarrassing. All right, let's see if I can make it onto this. What? What? I, I have mushrooms. Yeah, as you can see, I've never practiced this track. 159. Oh, new record. I'm pretty sure the best I've ever gotten on TikTok clock is second place. 141. Okay, that is definitely 18 seconds faster than what I just did. So I'm seeing the world record for the first time, and if I had seen this before, I would definitely be better at TikTok Lock. So blue mini turbo, blue mini turbo, wow, that looked really, really hard. And then two tricks there, okay, I didn't even know you could do that. Wow, took it really inside there. And here, what are we gonna do? A little hop before the ramp, um, I think I was already doing that. Wow, that was a really low trick. Did they trick off the thing from before the ramp? Okay. And, uh, are they taking this clock shortcut? Wow, what? What? They almost fell off twice. There's no way I'm doing it like that. Okay, orange mini turbo, that that I can do. I'm not sure about the two blue mini turbos. And trick off of the clock hand, let's see. Mini turbo trick here, yup. <clears throat> Just a blue mini turbo there. All right, I guess blue is okay at that section. And, oh, mini turbo trick there, okay, so. The ramp was on the right side on lap one, so they just tricked. But on lap two, they did a mini turbo trick. Oh, and you can mushroom through that. Okay, I'll have to try that. All right, so shortcut again. This time, gears on the right side. And that was a really cool mini turbo trick. Wow, mushroom there. So it, it looks like uh, lap three, this middle shortcut's way easier. Oh, you can trick twice? Okay, that, that looks really precise. I'm not sure if I'll be able to, to do it, but I might try it. So yeah, it looks like their mushrooms are more just like for uh, preparing cycles for the for the clock hands because there's no great mushroom spot on this track. So uh, it looks it looks like it just depends on where they want these clock hands to be positioned by the time they get there. Yeah, another bonk off the gear. All right, all right, this is gonna be really really tough. Okay, so we're gonna try everything that they did. Uh, I'm gonna slow down for some parts though. So I'm gonna hold L at the start so I don't have to charge up a startup boost and just use that mushroom. Blue mini turbo twice. Okay, couldn't get it. it. It might be this combo, honestly. So we're gonna get two tricks. Let's give this another shot. So blue mini turbo, blue mini turbo. There we go. And here, I don't remember if they mini turbo trick, but it would make sense if they did. And uh, I'm low on coins, so I, oh, I get coins here. Okay. And uh, we're just gonna do this, same as before. And here, since on lap one, this is on the right side, I'm gonna trick off of that thing. What do they trick off of? All right, so here, I'm pretty sure I saw what they tricked off of. I just messed it up last time. It's like this thing. Wow, didn't know you could trick off of that. So now we're just gonna try and hit all these tricks. Maybe get some drifts so that I get Kassan tricks. Oh, couldn't get it. 
Um, and here... What? Like, you can get up here? Oh wow, you can! But I didn't really land. My goal here is just to get a record that I'm happy with, where I do all of the techniques that I'm supposed to be doing. And in case you're wondering why I'm using this specific combo, it's because uh, I'm all yellow on a yellow track, and that gives me a speed boost. Okay, so we're gonna go for shortcut here. Ooh, this is tough. So I'm gonna like hop on, hop, hop. This is really tough, because the clock hand is at such an awkward position. Oh, oh, <laughs> what? All right, I'm gonna get it this time. I'm gonna get it. So we're gonna do this, this. How does this work? How does this, this is such a tough shortcut. I, I'm just not hitting the trickable section, and that's why I can't make it onto the end. Okay, we're gonna make it this time, we're gonna make it. I will it so! Oh my, ugh! So let me know what you guys think of this kind of video, because I'm gonna do this anyway. Like, whether or not I record this, I'm going to, to be practicing tracks so that I can play online better, especially on the tracks that I'm bad at. I'm also pretty bad at Piranha Plant Slide. But for Wave 5, there's going to be brand new tracks, and obviously I will be bad at those by default. So let me know if you guys want to see me practicing those tracks kind of in the same style. And also, I've never done this style before, so let me know if there's anything you want to see or I can improve on. Um, but yeah, uh, let's take this shortcut right here. Oh, that's the first time I did it properly. And then I forgot about the gear. I don't know I don't know if we even go up the gear on lap, lap one, but let's do this. And for lap two, we're going to take this side, do a mini turbo trick off the hand. Okay, why is the clock hand over here? I think that's correct. I go around it. Okay. I'm getting better now, looking forward. This is like the main thing with this track. Oh no! Okay, I almost fell off. And I missed the mini turbo trick, because I didn't look forward enough or something. Mini turbo? Nice! Oh, it kind of messed up my alignment. I can't believe I'm still on the track. Okay, so I, I guess I'm just not going to take the shortcut if the clock hand looks like that, because I've fallen off so many times because I'm just forcing myself to take that shortcut. And I don't remember where to use these mushrooms, I'm gonna be completely honest. <laughs> so we're gonna take this. Oh, couldn't get the trickable area. Let's just mushroom. <laughs> well, I lost some speed there. Okay, I'll, I might be able to beat my record on this one of 159. What? Okay, get off the glider. Now I know not to take that glider. I don't know, online it might still be good to take the glider sometimes because you can dodge a shock or like it's better to get hit with an item when you're on a glider compared to when you're not. How did I not get a trick? Okay, I, I can't trick off anything and I still had a mushroom, but <laughs> that's a new record. I I'm not proud of that, obviously, but uh, I'm getting there. Nope. So I watched the world record again. Looks like they used uh, one of their mushrooms over, well, I, I guess I'll show it when I get to that point. But I just need to practice every part of this track now. And yeah, I'm not doing everything the same every single time, I know. Um, in a time trial, you do want to be like perfectly optimal with this stuff, but I'm just trying to make sure that like I don't fall off and like, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be too perfect with this. I am optimizing for online play, not for time trials. So I will make some minor adjustments that kind of look weird in the context of a time trial. Wow, I'm getting better at that, but I can't get the gear. So, I guess I'm not going for that gear. But I saw on lap 2, for the mushroom right before the clock shortcut, they did something different. Like, they went over a gap with it. So, I'm going to be trying that. Here, we just go over here, just to get the mini turbo trick. Okay, clock's all the way over there. Okay, remember to keep looking forward, I'm forgetting sometimes. I need to hit these tricks. So here, they used it like right here. Oh, that's cool. I, I don't know if I, okay, that, <laughs> that was a disaster. <laughs> so yeah, the world record is on a much faster cycle than I am, so they can hit that clock shortcut and it looks completely different. Like that's not what I was expecting the, the clock hands to look like. Okay, and this section, they also had like this hand coming forward in a straight line and I don't have that at all. So I couldn't do anything similar to what they did. That's interesting, like, this is putting me on terrible cycles, the speed that I'm going at. And I kind of have to be going at world record pace for some of these to be a lot better. Alright, missing both of those mini turbo tricks? Are you kidding me? I'm definitely switching my combo after this try. Where are we going? 
And just do that! Oh, I couldn't get the trick. That would have been so cool. Okay, I think to learn TikTok Clock properly, I am gonna need a higher mini turbo stat. So let's go with this. You know what I think I'm gonna do? Like, I missed that trick, but it's because the clock gave me a really weird bounce. And so I, I feel like I just couldn't input the trick when I was actually touching this trickable section. So, okay, if I can remember to do it, I think what I'm gonna do... This actually applies for several places in Mario Kart, but like, I'm gonna try to hop to land on the trickable area. But let's be honest, that shortcut's already really tough, and I'm probably gonna forget to do that, or it's just not gonna work, because... I mean, it, it works in my head, but I've never tried it. Okay, yeah, it, it might not work, because when I'm hopping, I can't turn, you know? So I'm gonna take a look at the old world record. Th this is a 148, the first ever world record on TikTok clock, and I guess Wario Streetle was the meta back then. <laughs> but uh, the reason I like to sometimes watch an older world record is because they'll use fast strategies but they will typically be the safe version of the strategy because this is way back in the day before the records were super duper optimized and uh, the strategies just tend to be a lot simpler and often are just the ones you want to use if you're playing online because the new ones are super optimized. But yeah, let's take a look at what they do here. Oh, one long wide drift. And yeah, they do exactly what I just said. They hopped onto the trickable section and that, I guess, made the trick easier. So yeah, um, I really don't want to do the new strategy in that case, because, I mean, look at it, It's it just looks like the riskiest thing ever, and probably is only worth it in time trials. Ooh, I almost did it. Okay, I like that hop, I just messed up the timing a little bit. I think I need to curve in harder on this. Let's do that. Whoa! Okay, that, that almost worked. No, no, that's really good. I'm gonna practice that. Okay, can I curve in... Whoa! That works, that works! Yes! That was the best shortcut I've done! No, okay, I, I know what I did wrong. I didn't curve in hard enough. You have to really commit to that turn and cut the gap. I am actually appreciating this track a lot more now because of all of the elements of like moving parts, which I, I guess is like really good for TikTok clock, like just the theme of there being a clock. Look at that. Oh my... I keep doing that. I really need to watch out for that. Like, as soon as I finish something, I'm like, yes, I can just drive normally and turn my brain off, but no. You can't do that on TikTok clock. Like, the things keep moving and you keep having to know, like, what position you're in relative to all the track elements. There's so many moving parts to this. Like, here I have to mini turbo trick because it's lap two? Like, come on. I keep having to, like, have so much foresight. It's actually really fun. And online it'd be way different because right now I know where all the track elements are. But online I wouldn't because if I get hit, then I'm on a different cycle completely. Okay, uh, I messed that up. But we can actually take this now on lap three, <laughs> which I like hadn't even reached lap three before this. All right, let's see if I can finish off this race. I mean, I didn't do this perfectly, but this is not bad so far. Can I do this? Oh, this is easy. Wow, okay, lap three just has the easiest shortcut, damn. <laughs> so I'm only 10 seconds from the world record, which is still a long time, but I'm gonna practice this until I get an actually good one. Oh, I, I missed the last trick on lap three. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Whatever. I missed the trick on the gear. That is like the easiest thing.
Oh jeez, that was bad. Didn't get the mini turbo. What? How? Yeah, no, no, no. We're not taking this. Uh, this would have been a new record, but I, I'm so unhappy with this. Yes, finally! Oh, 148.4! Oh, that took so long. That took over an hour of just doing this over and over and over. I finally got one run where I didn't make a single mistake. And I even beat the first ever world record, take that! Oh, my hands are so tired. Let's upload that ghost. And let's actually watch it back. I, I, I want to see if it was as good as I remember it was. First off, I want to say that I have a brand new appreciation for TikTok Clock. So I've always said my favorite track is Waluigi Stadium. One of the reasons is because I feel like at every moment on that track, there's there's something to do. You don't just like drive in a straight line. You don't uh, like do really, really simple stuff. And uh, I like, I really like that TikTok Clock is just like that. And I actually never knew that. I mean, I think I could have guessed. Like I knew TikTok Clock was hard, which is why I never wanted to learn it. But uh, now that I've learned it, I can say that I actually really like this track. And I'll probably have to practice it a lot more and like get really consistent at it before I can really say if this becomes one of my favorite tracks or anything like that. I still really don't like that there are no off-road or mushroom shortcuts, but the complexity on this track is completely different from what makes other tracks special. And I don't know if there's any other tracks just like this where you have to monitor your cycles so well and keep looking forward to make sure you're lining up with what the track is doing. So yeah, I really like that about TikTok Clock. Practicing it has definitely let me appreciate it, whereas when I was bad at TikTok Clock, it just felt like, oh, this is such a frustrating track. But I I think I'm, I haven't really made any mistakes, right? That looked like an orange mini turbo, but it was purple. Uh, you can actually tell from the sound uh, that it makes when you release it. But yeah, I did everything pretty well here. I'm gonna need to practice this online, of course, because these cycles aren't going to be the same as offline, so sometimes I'll have to make judgment calls about whether or not to take the shortcut. But for the gear section, which is uh, this part coming up right here, which is definitely the part I was worst at, uh, I only had the cycles memorized for lap 1, because lap 2 and 3 I always approached this at different timings, so I couldn't memorize the cycles. <laughs> Alright, and in this part I barely got to practice this lap 3 part, but luckily lap 3 has the easiest ending. And there we go! What can I say? TikTok Clock is just my best track. <laughs>